In this video, I'll be walking you through how to set up the Fitbit Versa 4. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. Today I'll be walking you through how to set up the Fitbit Versa 4 with your phone. Now I've already done the first step, which is simply taking the charging cable, plugging it in, and then connecting it to the bottom of the phone like this. This will get your screen to turn on and basically get the Versa ready to be paired with a phone. Next, I'm gonna take a phone, and I have an Android phone I'll be using to pair. You can pair this with an Android phone or with an iPhone. Either one will work. What you'll need to do is go to the store. So on an Android phone, you'll go to the Play Store. And on an iPhone, you'll go to the App Store. And you'll just search Fitbit, find the Fitbit app, and we're going to install that. And once we open it, we'll be able to pair it with the watch. And then you can see the entire process of what the setup looks like. So we're gonna to install it to our device first. It's a very small app, so it should take up too much space. As you can see, it installed super fast. Let's hit open. Now, next, it will ask you to sign in to your Fitbit account. So I already have Fitbit account, so I'm gonna hit log in. If you don't already have an account, no problem. Simply tap join now and create your account. Okay, so we're now signed into our Fitbit account. The next screen will ask you about Fitbit being able to send you notifications. You simply come down to set permissions. You're gonna hit allow. And then it should take you to your home screen. Here's our home screen here. And now I want to connect a new device. So in the upper left corner, you'll see a profile circle right here. I'm gonna tap there. And then I'm gonna tap set up a device. And this will now tell the app that I want to look for a new device. So we'll be setting up the Versa 4. I'm going to tap on the arrow to the right of the Versa 4. Hit replace device down here. Okay. Next, we'll need to tap on nearby permissions. Tap allow. And then I'm gonna tap replace with Versa. Now this is only because I already have a, a, a device that's registered with this app. You can't have multiple Fitbits register at the same time. So it's basically saying we need to push that device off so we can register your new device. So that's why you're seeing these extra pop-ups. You may not see all these things on yours if you haven't previously used a Fitbit device. Okay, so it's gonna ask us to swipe through. And when done, we're gonna tap, I accept. Now it's gonna tell us to connect the charger, which we already have done here. We're gonna hit next. We'll need to uh, accept the location permission. So tap here and tap uh, while using the app. Next, background permissions. And we're gonna to go to always uh, allow it at, at all time. Now you can always change that later, so don't worry. I'm gonna hit the back arrow now. Hit done. And now it was able to find my Fitbit Versa. And as you can see, a code is gonna pop up on the screen. And I'll need to enter that code on the phone. So we'll do that now. And the pairing usually happens pretty quickly. So now that the code is entered, we have our check. We are officially connected. We can, it's telling us here, we can change the language from the app as well. It says your phone and device languages do not match. Your device will use language in your phone. No problem, we're gonna press okay. Now we have a pop-up on the phone that's saying a pairing request. So I'm going to swipe down and accept this pairing request here, pairing connect, press pair, and we'll give it another few seconds here to find it. We're going to allow it access, and then this should be the last step of the setup. You do have an option as well with Fitbit where you can purchase additional protection. Now here's the thing, um, most people would opt not to get this, but the reason I would tell you you should get this is 
it will cover if your screen cracks. And I have cracked multiple Fitbits, uh, not even doing any type of strenuous working out, but just simply I grazed up against a door or I hit something and the screens are fragile. So if you think you may crack your screen, I would tell you to look into purchasing the Fitbit protection plan just because it's happened to me. So anyway, I'm gonna hit not now. And this is usually the last step. It'll ask you to update your device. And the update usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. So you can see at the top of the screen, it will give us kind of a uh, progress bar. So we'll know um, it's currently downloading the update. And then once it downloads, it will update. The watch will also tell us, hey, keep your, your phone and your Fitbit close together while the uh, update downloads. Okay, so we're all done with our update. It took about 15 minutes for the full software to download and, and install. And now that we're on the other side of it, which you'll need to do with the app to finish the setup is hit continue. And you're gonna hit got it. Now, um, Amazon Alexa is uh, a built-in feature of the Versa that you are able to set up. I have used it in the past on, on previous Versa models and it can be really convenient. It is a limited version of Alexa, so it can't do 100% of what Alexa would normally do with other devices, but still works really great. And I would say if you do have uh, smart home products at home and you have other Amazon Alexa devices, definitely set this up. This is the, the page where you would set it up. You would hit get started. Uh, and if we swipe through, you can just see some of the things you can do that are helpful, like get friendly reminders. You can access, access your smart home accessories and devices and stay up to date with weather and things like that. So again, you would hit get started to set this up now. If not, you can always come to the top in the upper right corner and tap on not now. I think I will set that up later. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna do some other setup here. And this is using the built-in microphone and speaker so you can take uh, calls using Bluetooth. So first we'll need to tap on um, pairing request. All set. Next we're gonna tap on permissions. We'll need to give it permissions to have calls come through, to access our contacts to access the call log and SMS. So you'll be able to, again, answer the phone um, with your Versa. You'll be able to also answer text messages, but you, again, have to give the software permission to be able to push those to your Fitbit. Let's hit done. Last is Bluetooth pairing. Here we go. We're gonna hit pair and we're all set. All right, and here, this is the last screen here. It's giving us just a quick rundown of navigating the screen. Now, uh, I have another video coming that'll be a full video on how to use the Fitbit Versa for beginners. So uh, after you watch this video, make sure you watch that one next, and that one will walk you through the full process of navigating the screen, how to set up your notifications with your phone, and also how to change the watch face. All right, let's hit next. Next again, next. Again, it's gonna give you this rundown, but my video will give you a full breakdown of all these different features here. Um, this is the last screen, again, super important. It's tips for wearing it. It says clean your band and wrist regularly with a soap-free cleaner. If your device gets wet, remove and dry it before doing a, a workout or an activity and take your device off from time to time. So this is super important. I like to use, um, like a Lysol wipe or a baby wipe to wipe down the band because uh, dirt can build up if you wear it too long. Um, so just make sure you're cleaning it regularly and also cleaning your wrist as well so you don't get any germs or bacteria forming. It sounds silly, but it does happen. Let's hit next. And guess what? Yay, we are all done. We've officially set up and linked our Fitbit Versa to our phone here. And this is uh, a premium feature you can sign up for with Fitbit. It is their premium membership that gives you access to workouts, uh, additional uh, tracking. Um, it has a snore and noise detector and health metrics dashboard. Um, they actually give you uh, six months for free. Um, 
And you can also, uh, by signing up for a year, they're basically giving you the first six months at no charge. So if you'd like to sign up for that, this is the page to do it by hitting start membership. I'm going to pass on it for the moment. Hit the X in the upper left corner. And now if we go back to our main screen here, you'll see our Versa is paired. And now we have our latest metrics right here. Hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button and leave a comment as well. And again, make sure you watch our next video, which is the Fitbit Versa for Beginners. So we'll walk you through um, a full beginner's journey of how to navigate the screen, how to change your notification or set your notification settings, basically deciding what apps you want to give you notifications, how to change the watch face and more. So don't miss that video. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.